Okay, this is part two of the JBL SRX powered series speakers inducing noise into microphone cables. Um, a couple questions came up after the last video. One was, does it happen on more than one speaker, which I hadn't really verified. I just assumed that was the case, but further testing has proven that's true. Uh, the last test was with uh, SRX 815P. These are two of my 12Ps, which are a little bit newer. They were bought six months to a year after the 815s. And I was, I'm able to reproduce the uh, buzz on those. Um, but I also discovered that the microphone cable model is uh, definitely more susceptible. I tested previously with uh, Whirlwind MK series microphone cable, which, you know, is a pretty popular cable. Uh, not super cheap, but not the most expensive. And uh, I definitely get the noise with that cable. So I just unmuted the mic channel. SM58 plugged into the end of the cable, as well as the uh, uh, Canary Star Quad cable uh, on a separate channel. So here we've got the buzz. If I move the power cable around, the buzz changes with the cable. That's why I could never identify the source. It didn't happen at every show, and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Uh, so here's 1812P, and I'll unplug this and move it into another. Nice strong buzz. Now, however, if I mute the channel with the uh, MK series cable and unmute the channel with the Star Quad cable, it's nice and quiet. Kind of move the cable around. Pretty clean, mics are down there to avoid feedback. So, I tried a ferret bead on the MK series cable to see if it would help. I ordered a batch from Amazon, which just came yesterday. Got a ferret bead here. If I put that on the cable here, it has pretty much zero effect. So, Looks like the only way to mitigate this issue, other than JBL fixing it, which I suspect they're not going to do, is to replace a lot of my cables, which is kind of a bummer since I probably own 50 to 60 pieces of the MK series cables that I've been using for, I don't know, 15 years. Um, I don't feel like I should have to do that, but that apparently is the case if I want to keep using these speakers. Uh, in the previous video, I had a another one of these uh, EV speakers as a control to plug in and the EVs don't generate that kind of noise into the MK series cable so I still think uh, it's a design issue but it is what it is. Thanks for listening.